Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I placed a massive haul, or a massive order to Hourglass. I mean, this thing is a full face of makeup from Hourglass. So I did this with this, and we're gonna get into it and watch me try all this stuff on and tell you what I think about it. All right. First and foremost, I'm gonna clip back my hair because it's gonna be in the way for the whole video. Okay, so the first thing that I got for the face is the Vanish Airbrush Primer and I got the limited edition packaging for the new year or the Chinese New Year, but the bottle itself is just the normal packaging. So I've heard really good things about this, so I'm pretty excited. Wow, it feels so soft and like silky it does feel really nice a little bit mattifying it does mattify the skin which for a pore smoothing primer that's not surprising i still have kind of a natural glow and then the next thing that i got is the ambient soft glow foundation in shade five which i'm hoping that this isn't too dark um and again Great things about this. Everything in this is pretty pricey though. It's a soft glow foundation. And I'm just gonna apply this with the Dress Up MUL02. It's kind of that cat paw. And I'm just going to dab this on first. I'll probably start with one layer and then build it up. See what she's looking like. She's a little thick in consistency. Holy cow. Full coverage? <laughs> Definitely radiant. We'll see how it dries down, but I mean, it is a pretty good match, I guess, for my neck. My face is just a little tan, but I definitely would rather a foundation be too light than too dark. I mean, that is full coverage. Like, if there was anything underneath this, you wouldn't see it. Very pretty. You know what's crazy? It is pretty lightweight, even for being super thick. Not thick, but it's not liquidy by any means. But it actually is really nice. A little tacky. Like it definitely feels like you have foundation on. And the next thing that I got is the concealer, which I only got the mini size of. I only got the mini size of because it was free. And I was like, if I can save some money, I'm going to. This looks way too light. Actually, that's not bad. And everybody raves about this, so I am curious. And this is in the shade Cream, and it's like this teeny tiny little sample. But it's so cute. And I'm going to take my Smashbox Cream Cheek brush that I use for concealer. And I'm just going to just pat this in. And I'm going to take this on the forehead and just a little bit on the chin. Just to brighten it a little bit because our eyes are looking pretty bright. And you know, I would actually say that this is full coverage as well. It's very pretty. Very brightening, but that could just be the color. It's creasing a little. So I'm going to set this down pretty fast because I'm a little scared. Yeah, my skin does look very airbrushed. And it looks like the foundation, I'm not even going to set it because it is drying down to more of like a matte finish. It's definitely matte. And the concealer is a little bit drying. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit drying to me. To set my concealer, I just use the mini veil translucent setting powder from them i just had it from recent or previous purchases so yeah i just went in with that and then next i bought i believe this is the mini of the luminous bronze light the shade is luminous bronze light but i bought an ambient lighting bronzer and i just bought the mini one and it comes in this super pretty packaging and then of course this cute little mini bronzer. How freaking cute is that? So I'm just going to dip into that. It is definitely luminous, but I really like this. It's just so easy to blend. It's not patchy. It lays perfectly on this foundation. It's luminous, so it's giving that healthy glow back that we lost with the foundation. I really love this. Look at this before and after. And I feel like the pigment it's pretty good. I'm swirling it about three times in the actual component. Taking a little bit on my nose. 
so far. This is like one of the, my favorite things already. And I can't stop putting it on. But like this is better than the new Pat McGrath bronzers. Like I'm more in love with this than the Pat McGrath. I did also buy the palette. What is this? The Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Butterfly Palette, which I believe is more of like the deeper shades. No, it's not. It's the lighter one. It has lighter shades, definitely a few blushes, finishing powders, and highlighters. No bronzers in this one. I actually also bought a Vanish Blush Stick, and I want to use this first and then set it with the palette and I got this in the shade sacred which is so beautiful and this component is luxe I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then pick it up with my brush we'll see how that goes it's not picking up anything underneath so that's a plus I'm using yeah this doesn't have any name on it so I couldn't tell you I'm gonna see if the blush on the back of my hand is enough to do the other side too I think this is so pretty you can see the blush on the back of my hand this is what the shade looks like whenever you rub it on to your hand the pigments pretty good I'm not gonna lie I did about two swipes each on the back of my hand for each side I kind of want to see how it would do if I just swiped it on my cheek but I have to go look at my wedding venue today again make some final decisions so I like how this is looking it's very beautiful yeah easy to apply next we're gonna go dip in this palette okay I need new brushes cleaner brushes I think I'm going to use this splash to top the one I have on my face and I'm just gonna use the Smashbox buildable cheek brush it's kind of this pigment it's definitely fair. I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush. So then it says in this palette, there's two finishing powders and then a metallic straw powder. We're gonna use the metallic straw powder, which I believe is that shade right there. Oh, when they say metallic straw powder, I 100%, I agree. She is strawby. Look at that side. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go in with brows next. And again, I just got a mini of this brow pencil. It's their Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I just wanted to try it out, give her a whirl. The mini does not have a brush on it, but I really want to show you guys, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, the shape of this. It's like an oval shape, which I have not seen before. I got it in Soft Brunette. So the brows are done. The color is perfection. I love this color on me. The tip, you can get really precise with it. I actually really do love it. And the only thing is I don't like the mini size. It's hard to hold in your hand. So now we're going to move into the eyes, which I have one of their scattered light glitter eyeshadows that I want to try out in the shade Vivid. It's like this green metallic color. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So we're going to give this a try. But I want to just put something in my crease first. I don't know how pigmented that's going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead again with the bronzer and put it in my crease. There we go. Hopefully there isn't a lot of fallout. Glitter eyeshadow using fin fingertips. Interesting. Apply glitter eyeshadow over the eyelid. Layer the formula to build intensity. Replace clear disc before replacing the lid. So don't lose the clear disc is basically what I'm saying. And I apply this with my finger. Oh wow, that is soft. Oh wow. Okay, so let's just... Holy cow. Okay, whoa. And this is with like nothing on the base of my lid so nothing like primer wise besides the powder and concealer I put down but no like glitter glue or anything which I really would like to try this with the Pat McGrath intensify only a little bit of fallout I mean barely anything just because you know this is a glitter <laughs> and I'm not using anything you know to hold it and kind of keep it from falling out I guess but it's like this green which the color in this does not look like this I mean it does but like on my eyes this is like a dark green with gold and that is just gorgeous I need to stop layering it because I don't have like any other eyeshadows to put on my eyes so we're gonna have to just 
add more bronzer, but I love that. I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer and see if we can't blend this out a little bit. I will say blending with a brush definitely made the glitter go away. So I would imagine to use this, you need like multiple layers. Just keep building and building. And then just to brighten up the inner corner, I'm going back in. I'm just going to use a brush and put it in like the inner corner part. Okay, that is it I think for the eyes because of what we have. Which I saw the single eyeshadows by Hourglass and you can like build your own palettes but I was trying to make the most of what I bought. I got a free gift too, another one, and they actually gave me one of the... Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. And I don't know what the shade is. Maybe the shade is Confession. No, it's At Dawn. And it just comes in like this beautiful packaging. And it's pretty heavy. There's some weight to this, so. That was nice, but I don't think I'm gonna use that today because I have a different lippy that I bought. But first we're gonna go in with mascara. I got the Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara in Ultra Black. And like, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so luxurious. Ooh, the brush is like this super tapered, thin brush. I would definitely say it's very lengthening. It's a good mascara. It's definitely more of the driver formula. Definitely lengthening. You see how long my eyelash is like? <laughs> I like it. I definitely think it is one of the best mascaras that I own. So, and then I think we're gonna go in with this lippy. I bought their new Phantom Volumizing Gloss Balm in Trace. And it just comes in this cylinder packaging. And then you pop the lid off and it's a twist up. So we're just gonna twist her on up. No, you cannot go back in time, okay. We're just gonna, I don't have a lip liner on. This is a freaking lip gloss. <laughs> this is nice. It's like one of the softest glosses I have ever felt in my life. And it's starting to tingle. This is very reminiscent of the Tarte Maracuja plumping glosses. Is that what they're called? It's very reminiscent of that, but the quality of this gloss is immaculate. From the packaging to the gloss formula itself, it's like an oil. Like this, I, it's a gloss oil. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. It's so smooth, so glossy. I really do love this. I love this a lot. I love this a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go put lashes on and I will be right back. So I have my receipt pulled up. I got pretty much all of this on sale when they had their friends and family. So it was like 20% off, I believe. For the primer, um, this was originally $58 and I got it for $46. Um, $58, that's pretty steep. But you know what? My face looks good. My complexion, it all looks pretty amazing. I would definitely pick it up on sale. Um, I think the $58 is as much as a foundation and that is a little scary, but totally worth it. And same thing, the foundation was the same exact price. $58 originally, I got it for $46. And I, again, think my complexion looks amazing. It's a matter finish. It is definitely matte, which is weird because it's a soft glow. It's a soft glow foundation. Full coverage. So for like glam, shoot. This is nice. This I actually might like more than the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I do really like that product. Next is the setting powder. Um, this I had before. I'm not sure how much this retails, probably around like 20 something. Uh, I do really like this. I think that this makes my pores practically invisible, especially with everything. The only thing is that I'm pretty sure that this leaves a white cast and I'm not a fan of that. So, but I've never used it, I don't think in photos. But just like looking at my under eyes, the only place that I use this, um, there is a strange white cast on it so I'm not sure if that's the concealer or if it's this but I do like this for, for blurring it is great it's a great setting powder I used it non-stop the bronzer this little mini guy 
Oh my goodness, how much did I pay for him? Yeah, so this is the travel size of this bronzer. And I paid 24 and it's originally $30 for the travel size. But I gotta be honest, this is totally worth it. I mean, if you can pick it up in the travel size, I'm hoping that this isn't gonna hit pan like crazy soon, but we shall see. So yeah. I super duper, I am in love. Do you like see how gorgeous that is? Ah, so good, so good. And I even used it, you know, in my crease today and I like it that way too. So I'm a big fan, big fan. And then the next thing is this. Originally, this was all I was gonna pick up from Hourglass and then I was like, shoot, let's do a stool whole face because I really wanted to try this brand out. The packaging is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, the colors. So beautiful. This retails for $85. And I got it for $68. Which, um, if you can pick this up on sale, I super suggest that. I highly suggest it. Um, it is gorgeous. See that there's some kick up. It is gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. Um... The blushes are beautiful, love, love, love. The other colors are kind of all um, similar. You get a more blinding highlight here and then a not as blinding highlight here and then, you know, the two finishing powders, which I haven't tried yet, but I do really like this. I hate to say it, like I really don't want to say it, but, and you basically get six of the same size here let me show you for comparison so basically it's the same size as this travel bronzer but you get six of them actually i think no yeah it is the same exact size and you get six of them this is 30 dollars. so 30 times six you guys so i definitely like i want all of these because then i wouldn't need any of these but that's pricey that is pricey <laughs> next is the stick blush this was originally 46 and i got it for 36 now 46 dollars for this um if you like hourglass and you collect hourglass or like luxury makeup for sure do it girl even if you if you just want it because the packaging i mean this is super luxe like do it but you can get the similar effect with like the new Juvia's Place blushes and the Rare Beauty blushes. Those are liquid, but for cream, I mean, I have a MAC blush that honestly I would probably reach for more than this. Um, and it's a cream blush, but I do really like it. It's a good blush if you, you know, like I said, you collect Hourglass or you want luxury makeup because the packaging now is a whole nother story. The packaging in itself, gorgeous. So I mean, if you want it for that reason, definitely pick it up, but she's, again, she's pricey. You pay for what the name is, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I forgot this mini concealer. So this was, yeah, this was free and it is the deluxe sample size, which is 1.4 mils not bad not bad and of course it's not the same as the luxurious packaging the big one comes in but i do like it i think it is full coverage it goes with the foundation the primer it all flows you know if you use it all together it looks gorgeous um it is a little light i would definitely get a different trade if i uh, purchased the big one but yeah i mean it looks good next the little mini eyebrow pencil is originally 17 for this travel size and I bought it for 1360. Um, the color I think is gorgeous. It has a strange tip on it that I think is extremely precise. I mean, the pigment is, you know, a little sheer, so you definitely don't have to like know what you're doing. You know, you can slowly build it up and get, you know, the intensity that you want, which is what I did today. But I also, one thing to say, which is a knock only for the travel size, is it's freaking tiny and then, you know, there's nowhere to put your lid, there's no spoolie, nothing. Like the Anastasia 
travel size products for their brows have the spoolie on the end, you know? I'm not sure how much product comes in it, but it is, this travel size pencil is extremely annoying to um, work with, so yeah. I don't know about that, um, I don't like the size, but then you just buy the big one, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then next is this Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. This retails for $30 and I bought it for $24, which is pretty pricey, but I mean, she's freaking gorgeous, you guys. Like, I'm pretty blown away by this. Um, I thought it was going to be way more gold than it is. The only thing that's a downside is that if you blend it out with like an eyeshadow brush like I did, the glitter is gone. She's gone, gone. So that's the only thing that sucks. Just use like a glitter glue. I'm curious to see what it looks like with that Pat McGrath Intensify eyes and or glitter glue because I'm sure it's going to be immaculate freaking gorgeous so another i believe this was a freebie that's so dry. yes another freebie is this lipstick in at dawn super creamy super beautiful can't wait to try her out i mascara i bought the unlocked instant extension mascara this retails for 32 and i bought it for 25 pretty reasonable you know for hourglass and the packaging I don't think this is overpriced. I think it's a good mascara. It definitely lengthened, and if you build up, you know, two coats, I like this one a lot. So definitely worth the price. The packaging is so stunning. Like, I wanna see if you guys can see this. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it's literally engraved. It's engraved. That's luxurious, you guys luxurious quality lastly is the phantom um volumizing gloss balm in trace i definitely was expecting this to be more purple but i'm glad it's not this retails for 36 and i got it for 28 i think this is worth the 36 okay i think this is beautiful this is probably, you know, one of my faves. If I had to choose my favorites, it would probably honestly be the bronzer and the lip. These are my two faves. Like, I honestly I don't know if I could live without them after this video. My least favorite. Honestly, I think that my least favorite is... You guys are going to find this kind of shocking. I only say that because I feel like part of the smoothing effect could be just the primer itself. And you wouldn't need this foundation. It's very matte. And I'm not a fan of super matte finishes. Yeah, I don't know. I still want to test it out with like glowy primers. I think that would be fun to try. And then, you know, of course, the primer with glowy foundations and see what that looks like. I'm curious, but yeah, I just wanted to use an entire face of Hourglass, and I did, so that's exciting. And then they also threw in this Hourglass concealer sample pack, so it has these shades that I can try in the concealer, which will be nice because I definitely think that this shade is way too light, which they do give me in the top, but I would like to try these middle two shades. So my total spent was $331. And now that I have made a giant mess out of everything, I'm gonna go put it all away and go check out my wedding venue and I'll see you guys in the next one if you stick around. I love you and I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Bye.